So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. But he who is joined to the Lord is one Spirit with him. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth, for you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name he may give you. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called the children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is.